Welcome viewers to another episode on ASU G12 exams. So this is the second episode in which we are looking at the November 2022 Mathematics Paper 1. In the first episode we covered question 1 and 2. So let us continue with question 3. Simplify 3 open bracket 4x minus 5 close bracket plus 2. So again there is always a question only simplifying simplification of an expression so what is being assessed here is your ability to deal with brackets and negative numbers that is the key here so it's a matter of basically expansion so what we do is we start with 3 multiplied by that then our next is 3 multiplied by that then this remains the way it is unchanged. So remember, three is only multiplying what is in the brackets, and the brackets implies multiplication. Take note of that. So having said that, we start with a basically three multiplied by four x, then plus y plus because three is a positive then multiply by this this whole thing is a negative negative five then plus two okay once you have that you start expanding we have three multiplied by four x we get twelve x not just twelve twelve x because what we are saying is we have four x's how many times three they add up to twelve x then 3 multiplied by negative 5, we end up with a negative 15. Remember, a negative multiplied by a positive is a negative. Then plus 2, which is unchanged. Then we simplify. We are going to end up with 12x. Then again, what we are saying is negative 15 plus 2. So what we have is basically we have this like a number line. This is a 0. Then this is negative 15 here. Then because we are adding positive 2, we are moving 1, 2 in the positive direction. Hence, we are going to end up with negative 13. This is, again, the common mistake. People are just going to add 15 plus 2. They get a 17. Then they write minus 17, which is incorrect. So this is basically negative 13. So... At this point, there is no number that can go into 12 and 13 at the same time. So, this is the simplified answer. So, it's 12x minus 13 as our answer. So, basically, this is how you answer this question. Let us look at question 4. Solve the equation 4y square minus 8y equals 0. So basically, because the highest power is a 2, this is a simple quadratic equation, or generally a quadratic equation. You notice that a quadratic equation is given by ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. So in this case, we have 4y square, where 4 is a, then y square is x, minus 8y plus 0 equals 0, where b is equal to negative 8, then x is equal to y, then c is equal to 0. That's why it's not appearing there. So once you have a case where c is equal to 0, you can solve uh, that quadratic equation using a just simple factorization. So in this case, we have basically 4 y square minus 8y equals 0. So if you look at uh, this equation, you notice that uh, we have the common factors. 4 can go into 8 without leaving a remainder. So 4 out. Then y can go into uh, y square without a remainder. So we take out this y out. Then use a different color. 4 into 4 is a 1. y into y square is y. y times 1 is y. Then 4 into negative 8 is negative 2. Then y into y is 1. 1 times negative 2 is basically negative 2. This is equal to 0. So what, what does this tell us? This tells us is basically either this one is equal to 0 or 
this one is equal to 0. Hence, 4y is equal to 0 or y minus 2 is equal to 0. Because if n of this is equal to 0, the answer will be 0. Because 0 times anything is basically 0. That's the implication. So to find y, we divide by 4 this side. Then we divide by 4 this side. So y is basically equal to 0. Or we are basically bringing this to the other side. The moment this two crosses the equal sign, it becomes a positive. So y is equal to basically 2. So these are the answers. So it's either y is equal to 0 or y is equal to 2. So basically, this is how you answer this question to get uh, the full marks. So basically, join me in the next episode where I'll pick it up from question 5 going forward. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, video. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to our channel because we've got so much content for you. So once you subscribe and go to our YouTube channel, we'll discover that we've got extensive exam revision where I've covered questions in mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Then we are also adding more subjects. We've got also another section which is topic based exam question revisions. This is the best section for you if you are facing any challenges in any specific topic. Remember, for you to master anything, you need to know how questions are asked. Hence, we give you tips and tricks by giving you extensive explanation to each and every question.